Today's the day. Truck's coming to pick it up. some stuff for the buyer in this elephant racing bag including oil filter lug nut keys tuning microphone for the head unit and then the original cluster since it has the EMMXG installed and check out this pile of receipts that I uh, collected over the years crazy thing is this is only about half of what's actually done and in the car. While I'm waiting for the transport to show up, may as well go over some stuff on the car. I uh, actually just took it for the last drive around the neighborhood. Kind of sad. But it has full 99 everything. Flying M badge, Sandberg everything for the LS swap. Uh, these are Stanley OEM turn signals. I'm especially sad about losing these uh, Ragged Masters. 18 by 9.5s in the front, and then the elusive 10.5s in the rear. Bought these, refinished them, did the whole nine yards. Found the black center caps. Special made these uh, spoke decals. I even had some custom inner barrel decals made. Brembo GTs, 99 spec OEM side skirts, Ganondorf super mirrors, custom made blue tinted convex lenses. Interiors Alcantara everything, hand laid carbon fiber plain weave. Uh, that's actually a NSX Type S OEM. Titanium shift knob to match the Mazda Speed Titanium e-brake handle. Uh, works bell, flip up hub. This one was a tough one to put in. An AIM MXG full color display dash. Full Alcantara rewrap, top stitched. Recaro embroidering. Spare R seats. You can tell by the uh, Carbon Kevlar weave is actually different, so this is a Spear R weave. RZ floor mats, Alcantara wrap door cards, more Alcantara, more carbon fiber. That's a Saki Bomb aluminum grip with uh, Alcantara. The door pocket or the cup is a cast aluminum piece, makes it really sturdy. Same thing with the outer door handles. These are notorious for breaking, these plastic handles, but this is actually a cast aluminum. Let's see. This is a race shop slash M2 full diagonal uh, roll bar. Extremely rare now, I guess. It's been long discontinued. Plastics for performance polycarbonate window. spec wing with a Odula blade, plain weave carbon fiber, 
car shop glow tail lights and the LED in the center. REM MES street diffuser. And I got the muff flaps in the rear. Feed vented hood. This is actually an OEM hood with just the feed vent section grafted in. It's perfect fitment. You don't need hood pins or anything like that. The stock latch works great because it's still a stock hood. Here we go. LS3 swap TR6060 has a Cobra 8.8 rear diff. Drive shaft shop axles, drive shaft shop CV jointed aluminum one piece drive shafts. Uh, full dash 6AN hardline stainless steel that's run throughout the bottom of the car. ABS delete with real uh, steel fittings and custom bent hardlines. Fully ventilated crankcase into this catch can over here. Olins all around, DFVs. Spool and long tube headers. These are uh, one and three fourths inch merge headers. Spall fans in the Sandberg radiator kit. All gold everything. Entire firewall has been covered. All down to the frame rails. And the radiator intake shroud. Down there we have a Chips Motorsport uh, manual converter rack. Yeah, that's the engine bay. It makes about 420 something, 429 to the wheels. Hey, Blue, sit. Good boy. I tried so hard to try to keep these wheels. Really hope one day I can buy these wheels back. It took me 10 years to find these wheels. Just finished refinishing them. And now they're gone. So the reason why I specifically looked for an R2 model when I bought this car is because I'm a big proponent of having a slick top for these RX-7s. Retains all the lines. Still get that nice double bubble without having a sunroof mess it up in the top. Even though this is a 94 and an R2 model, you may notice for the keen viewers that this is a 93 dash without the 94 plus side airbag. So I backdated the dash wrapped in Alcantara. Just to show you the amount of work that went into this interior. Look at how solid everything feels. Usually when you pull on this door cup on stock RX-7, it creaks like crazy. Feels like you're about to break it. It's all brittle. You even have a map pocket that works. Also in carbon fiber. And also the pop -ups. Wired in these LED momentary buttons for the aim dash. LED bulbs throughout. And of course, diffused version 4 car shop glow tail lights.
What's that? Nice car. Thanks, man. I, sh I sold it, actually. Bye. All right, back to the Corolla. 